56 year old woman, British woman, who traveled to Indonesia has just been sentenced to death because she allegedly smuggled drugs to Bali. Mm -hmm. Now, she smuggled $2.5 million worth of cocaine, and Indonesia is extremely strict when it comes to their uh, drug laws. In fact, they're known for sentencing people to uh, the death penalty if they are caught smuggling drugs. And it's incredible because in this case, prosecutors were only seeking 15 years. But the judge in this case was like, yeah, 15 years, not good enough. We're not only going to sentence her to execution, but she will be executed uh, with a firing squad. Yeah, keep it in classy. All right, now look, $2.5 million is a lot of uh, money. I get that. So that seems like significant drug trafficking, if she's actually guilty. Now, having said that, executing someone for drug trafficking is crazy. Look, they used to do, to give you a sense of uh, proportionality here, uh, for alcohol, they used to do smuggling, right? And they would traffic in alcohol when it was illegal. And, you know, then you got the gangs, as we do have with the drugs now. We have the drug cartels, and back in the day, with alcohol, it was Al Capone and Lucky Luciano, etc. Um, but then immediately after they made it legal, then obviously Anheuser-Busch and Coors, etc. took over. Now, could you imagine after, like, so the day before you can execute somebody, the day after they're the most legitimate businessman in the history of the world, Anheuser-Busch, Alfred Coors. Is it Alfred? No, it's Adolf. It's a weird, creepy name, right? A Adolf Coors. Oh, the most legitimate business guy there is an upstanding member of the community. Yeah. So... She's claiming that she was targeted by these gangsters who told her that if you don't smuggle the drugs, we're going to go after your children. She's apparently n not wealthy or well off at all. She had no money. She barely, she didn't have money to defend herself, um, which is also another problem here. I mean, if she didn't have money to defend herself, what was her defense? Um, so I have problems with that. It, I, look, and I look, have, you, I, you can tell she's not a, the high level drug lord. She doesn't even have money to defend herself. She's a 56 year old grandmother. Like, let's show her pictures again. She's not a dangerous looking person and and look she smuggled drugs I get it it's against your law but if if prosecutors are proposing 15 years behind bars and you say no let's execute her via firing squad there's something wrong with your system look there's something wrong with all of our systems drugs shouldn't be illegal in the first place but this is obviously uh, above and beyond its mental. Yeah, and by, I love that you mentioned that because the United States is no better, okay? We have some states that are proposing legislation that would lock people away for life if they're caught with marijuana, okay? In Texas, they're extremely harsh when it comes to people who get caught with hash. I mean, we have ridiculous laws as well. I mean, execution goes above and beyond that. But at the same time, like all of these anti-drug laws are so stupid. So many lives are lost. So many lives are ruined because of this stupid law. We got to get over it. We got to move on. And they're worried about tourism in Bali. Let me tell you something. People who are going to Bali want to party, okay? People don't want drugs. They won't do drugs. If people want to do drugs, they're going to find a way to get it.